damn cold. Hail to you. Good evening, lad. Good evening, father. It looks like you had a rough trip. Don't mention it. My own cross to bear. I'm in a hurry, but my people won't go any further. The superstitious fools give credit to that fairy tale about a demon. Don't you? My son, you don't believe in demons when you've met the devil as often as I have. But the church, father. They keep telling us about demons. The church. When talking to ignorance, you have to use simple words. Believe me, son, the devil's face looks much more like ours than a tailed and haunted monster's. Pray that such words shouldn't fall into zealot ears. It could earn you trouble, quite likely. Not in my position, I suppose. But thank you for caring. <laughs> Who are you, lad? My name is Simon de Longcroix. De Longcroix? I think I know that name. You're from Longadoc, aren't you? I am. A fair land, indeed. I'm an Italian from Osma. I was in Toulouse a few days ago. Quite a mess. Are you from Toulouse? I'm from the country. Then, luckily for you, you are spared the pressure the Holy Church puts on those who dwell in the city. I wish you could only leave those peaceful Cathars alone. I'm sure you agree with me. No, I don't. For they are the enemies of our beloved Innocent the Third. You're a very devout young man. But you must also have a heart. You think these Cathars harmless, don't you? No, for they preach disobedience towards the church. They will end up creating a civil war. They'll die before they do. You may not know this, but the papal legate Pierre de Castelnau was murdered the day after a party held by the treacherous Count. I was on the assassin's list, but they missed me. The abbot of St. Sernin had doubts because of a young man he had arrested himself two days before. My name is Monsignore Diego Dosma. I am a member of the Holy Inquisition. Simon, we... Diego? Or shall I call you Monsignore? Petrus, do you have a son? Ah, of course you don't. So the Pope was right. Will you try to stop us, Diego? No. I don't think I will. At least, not now. But we'll meet again, I can tell you that. They sent you for the Templar. Don't bother to torture him. You won't get any information from him. So, is this Mark one of your people? And I suppose the famous manuscript never existed. <laughs> you will never change. Be merciful. Merciful. That's your problem, Petrus. You've always looked at things without the least sense of perspective. I shall depart now. I must not be seen in the company of heretics. Don't forget what I said about demons, lad. Their face 
is always closer to ours than we can imagine. So, you know him. Who doesn't? Monsignore Dosma, a sharp mind who gave up the righteous struggle a long time ago. However, he gave us a chance. I talked with William. He will come with us tomorrow. Wonderful. He is a knight. He will fight the demon. He came to fight, but he didn't come to win. You need a weapon, Simon. Not just any weapon. You need Durandal. Durandal? Why not the Holy Grail while you're at it? And I suppose we'll find it somewhere in this room, wrapped in a kitchen towel. Don't be sarcastic. Roland's sword is here somewhere. You'll have to ask for help. From whom? From your messenger. Find a holy ground. Kneel in front of an altar and perform the exercise. I'll be waiting for you here. Why do I feel like I never have a choice? You'll get an answer to that question too. Go now. Hurry, Simon. You've got to find this sword. You shall be heard. Ask, and you shall be answered. Three times for three is a divine number, and divine is my nature. Adelard, holder and father of the gift, wanted to gather the best from all, but all are different and not all are good company. The important question about the manuscript is not what secret it holds, but what hope it conveys. Durandale is a trial of your quest. I can only show you the way.
The process is quite delicate. I have to exchange the two blocks without causing the arm to move. Uh, that's it. Turandale!